Hello friends, welcome back to my channel, A Healthier Ashley. And today I'm just coming to you guys with another what I eat in a day on keto. And um, I'm a little disappointed in myself because I did eat a little bit more sugar than what I, well, not sugar, but Lily's chocolate than I should have. But you know what happens. And I'm truthfully honest with you guys when I do it. And you know, tomorrow it'll be a new day. Um, it's part of the journey, but, um, even though Lily's chocolate, I don't think it stalls my weight loss, but I was really not trying to eat any, but this is what happens when you're out running errands, you don't have a snack and you didn't, you know, I didn't really plan to be out that long. That's really what happened. And I was starving and I was in a grocery store. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, and, uh, yeah, leave any comments below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in my next one. All right, good morning, friends. I am going to have some coffee. Um, I just want to show this to you guys because I had um, purchased this from Costco on accident. I was planning on just getting like a big bag of coffee. Well, these are coffee beans, okay? And so I went to um, like, my coffee maker is just a basic one. So I went to uh, my local supermarket and purchased this little coffee grinder. Now it does take a little work um, because obviously it doesn't give you that much. So I usually have to do this like twice and it takes a, just a few minutes, but I just want to say this is the best way to drink your coffee. If you're grinding your beans or if you have a coffee maker that grinds the beans, oh my gosh, it just calls for the best cup of coffee. So anyways, it is currently... It's 10.45, guys. Lately, I've, I don't know. I think I'm going to go back to like 16, 8, fast for 16 hours because I just don't know. My body's just, I've been so hungry earlier. Like, I'm not eating any differently, but I'm hungry early. And um, I don't know, it could, could have just been from like cheating. But this week, and I'll tell you guys about it a little bit more later, but this week I just cut out a lot of the excess you know, sugar, like the keto sugar, the sweets, stuff like that. And um, I'm starting to feel normal again. And the scale moved. I did weigh myself. Y'all don't judge me. But anyway, we're going to talk about it more later. But yeah, just going to show you guys that this is what I'm going to have this morning. Um, and I'll show you how I make everything in just a minute. All right, friends. So this is what I have for breakfast today. Just three scrambled eggs, some jalapenos, two strips of bacon. And I'm going to go ahead and get started with my coffee. Um... I have my little cup here. I'm gonna use some heavy whipping cream. And I'm gonna add in about two tablespoons of that. And liquid stevia, just a squirt. And then I like to froth this together first. Just to get it nice and thick. Unflavored collagen, just one scoop. And then I will add my coffee. And that's why I use two tablespoons of uh, heavy whipping cream because I have such a big mug. And then I'll go back in and just kind of froth that just to give it a, just to let it mix up really well. You just gotta watch it cause it'll, it'll come over on you. But this, this mixes in really, really well. And the collagen is unflavored, but to me it just makes it, to me it's just like a little creamier. I don't know, I could be wrong. Maybe it is the heavy whipping cream, but it, it doesn't have any flavor, so. Have it. There's my coffee. 
and breakfast today. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy this breakfast. Okay, guys. So I have um, been running errands all day long. And the unfortunate part of when you um, run errands and you're out and about, I didn't have any water. And I bought this bar and um, I had like three squares. So my dinner's gonna be small because I really don't wanna go over my carbs that bad. Not my total carbs. Um, they're not as bad, but I was just so hungry and I couldn't wait. Yeah, so anyway, I'm about to cook dinner. I'm making shrimp fried rice, rice, and I'll show you guys how I do that. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Okay, so I'm just gonna place my shrimp. Uh, this is some avocado oil and it's pretty hot. Um, I'm not gonna season the shrimp because I'm gonna season once everything is all together. So we're gonna let the shrimp cook down. This is about a little over a pound of shrimp. But that is about all I need right there. About two minutes on each side. And while we do that, let's go ahead and get out all of our seasonings that we'll need. So I have some ground ginger, some uh, liquid aminos. Um, I use the, it's a soy sauce alternative um, and I just like it. So I'm gonna use that, but you can use, uh, let's see, you can use soy sauce, it's fine. And then I have a bag of cauliflower rice that I cooked in the microwave and I'm going to drain out all the liquid and I have a egg that is two eggs actually that's been scrambled and I thought I thought I bought the mixed vegetables with carrots and peas even though carrots aren't really keto friendly but I still bought them because I was going to put them in there but apparently I didn't so I'm just going to use a can of sweet peas um which now that I look at it, I realize aren't the best either. So I might just leave out um, the peas altogether. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna still look again to see if I maybe bought it and put it away already. If not, I just may not have vegetables in it or maybe I can use, um, I can put broccoli. That's what I'll do. I have these, um, I can steam a bag of broccoli and just put like maybe half of it inside and I think that's what I'm gonna do so it's not necessarily like I wanted it but that's the good thing about it you can kind of do whatever you want so um so yeah I'm gonna just drain this bag until it's just completely drained because I want the cauliflower rice to be nice and fluffy and in order for that to happen you have to drain the water out of the um out of the bagged rice so I'm gonna do that now and uh, my shrimp are still currently cooking. And then I will come back and show you guys how I'm starting to put everything together. Okay, so you just wanna grab, since the bag was still tight, I got a kitchen towel and I'm just draining, I'm just squeezing all the liquid out of this bag. And this will allow you to have very fluffy, fluffy cauliflower rice without <laughs> taking all the rice out of the bag, of course. but. Yeah, so I'm just gonna wrap it up again and keep squeezing until nothing else comes out. Ahead and scramble up my eggs. Um, these are just these scrambled just to you know be in your meal. It doesn't have to you don't you don't have to season it or anything like that. So I'm just gonna give these a good scramble and then put those to the side. I've already taken my shrimp out. And so I'm just gonna scramble my egg. I have my bag of broccoli florets cooking in the microwave. And yeah, soon enough, all of this will just be put together. Okay guys, so I'm gonna get my avocado oil back out and add it to the pot. 
And we are gonna cook our rice now until it is brown. We have the uh, stove on about medium to high heat. Well, medium heat. Sorry about the baby in the back. And so, yep, just dump all that in there. And then you just want to cook this until all of the, until it's brown. Draining the water out is going to help it to cook. And if you look at it already, it's a lot more fluffier than what it would be if you did not um, drain that liquid out. So draining the liquid is very, very essential. So I'm just going to keep cooking this until it is nice and brown. Doing this in a nonstick pan really helps. And if I didn't say earlier, which I know I didn't, I'm also going to use sesame oil. You use it to your liking, but about a fourth of a teaspoon. And so, yeah, that's what we're going to use. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead now. I have some broccoli that I chopped up um, a little bit smaller. I'm gonna go ahead and add that to the pot. Um, it took about four to five minutes to that rice to start to brown up. And you put as much veggies as you like. Um, this, this is really up to you. I'm gonna go ahead and put the egg and the shrimp. And now it's time for our uh, seasoning. So I'm going to put one and a half tablespoons of the liquid aminos. And you put as much as, you know, as much as you like. Sesame oil. And a fourth of a te teaspoon of ground ginger. If you have fresh ginger, you can use that as well. But I only have ground ginger. And then just give everything a good mix. This looks good and smells even better. And this is pretty much done. I'm gonna let it sit on low for a little bit just so everything can really come together, but this is pretty much done, guys. This is an easy, quick weeknight dinner. And I am going to pair it with a salad. Okay guys, so I have fixed a salad here. I put chopped up some cucumbers, put some of my uh, Parmesan crisps that I get from Aldi. Absolutely love those. And this is, I think my new favorite, which is the Avocado Ranch. I used to get this the same brand in um, the blue cheese, but this is really, really good. And on my fried rice, I added some sweet chili sauce and I got this from Walmart. So that's really going to give it some good flavor. If you ever go to like a restaurant and they have a sweet chili sauce, this is what you can add to it. So, and that is going to be my dinner, guys.